Uh, hi everybody, Mark from Northeast Bass Fishing. How's it going? Um, got an order. Uh, I was away fishing. Um, was at my mom's uh, for, on uh, over in New York in the Adirondacks and fished Great Sagandaga for uh, two or three days, visiting mom. And um, when I got back, an order I had made from Pure Fishing from the Berkeley section had arrived. So I'm going to show this to you. Um, I got a couple baits that I haven't thrown. Some new baits from them um, that I want to try. And uh, and some soft plastic. So let me show you what I got. Um, I'll show you the hard baits first. And the first thing I got that is different to me is um, this new Berkley hit stick. And this is a plastic bait that has the action of a balsa bait, which I have I haven't thrown these yet. Um, so I haven't. I, I just I, I mean I love this yellow perch color that they make. And I wanted to get some more jerk baits with that. And I'm going to just throw this like a regular jerk bait. I mean, I'm not going to fish. I'm not fishing for walleye with this, or I'm not trolling with it. I'm going to throw this like a standard jerk bait. And I want to see what the action's like. And so this is the number eleven in uh, the Berkeley uh, Berkeley hit stick. Third of an ounce bait, and like I said, that's the yellow perch color. So that's what they look like. Uh, you know what? Let me open it up and I'll show them to you. <laughs> you guys want to see them up close anyway. I thought I could just pop it off, but I'll have to cut up the back package here. Put it in the jerkbait box. But I love this perch color they make. So any jerkbait that I can get that Berkeley makes with this color, I always like to try them out. Even though it may not be like their, you know, standard, you know, so-called bass jerkbait. I don't know if these are really made towards the walleye guys. But we shall see. So that's what it looks like. It's got those nice fusion hooks on it. I hear that? I don't know if you guys can hear that rattle. Hooks are sharp. It's got these here to help you with your casting. Gives you some more weight there. So I'm going to be interested to see how this, the action of this in the water. Like I said, this is the number 11. I forget how big of a bait it is. I know it's a third of an ounce, but I'm not sure now that I cut the pack up. And, oh, oh, here we go. It's a four and a half inch. This is the four and a half inch. So if you guys like that perch color, it's just awesome. So, you know, I don't throw, I'm not a big jerkbait person post-spawn, but let me chuck it around a little bit. See how it just, I just want to see the action. But like I said, I'm going to throw that just like, you know, you would any other jerkbait. I also got the perch color in this 13 size, which is a uh, half ounce. And this one is five and one ninth of an inch. Where they decided to make it five and one ninth, I'm not sure. <laughs> but I, like I said, I love that color. Let me cut this one open for you. Give you guys a look at it. Make sure you're taking these out that you don't hit those hooks with your finger because they are sharp. I'm gonna need a little more chopping. Now it should pop out. There we go. So there, that's the five, and that's the third. Part. So if you want a little bigger size, and that one's got this 13 size has three weights. Look, it says right on the bottom there, Berkeley Hit Stick 13. There you go. And get that rattle action. I'm going to see what these look like if I just throw this the like a traditional. <laughs> Craig L. Simons. Alexa, shut down. The Kindle ebook is eleven dollars and one cent. I don't know why Alexa's talking to me. Would you like to, to buy it? Alexa, shut down. <laughs> it's the first time I've been interrupted by her during a fishing <laughs> video. I don't know if you guys heard that, but for all of a sudden she just started talking. I don't know why. There you go. There's the hit stick 13 in that yellow perch color, which I love. So I'll let you know how they, the action of those when you throw them like a traditional jerk bait. All right. The other ones, I, the other two jerk baits I got, this is the yellow perch color again. And this is just the Cutter 90. So the Cutter 90, it's a, you know, 3 8 ounce bait, three and a half inches long. So it's a little, it's jerk your traditional jerk bait, but a little shorter. And these packs, you got you can't just pop these out of the pack. You definitely have to cut these open. So 
So there's the, the Cutter 90. So if you want a little smaller jerk bait, this only has two trebles instead of three. But like I said, I love that yellow perch color. It rattles. But right there, Cutter 90 plus suspended. I'm not sure how, I think they're going to suspend, you know, in that four to six range. Yeah, four to six on the pack. So there you go. So if you love that, if, if, if you're fishing a lake with a lot of perch, Berkeley is a great option uh, for jerk baits. So that's the Cutter 90 Plus. And the last one I got was the Cutter 110 Plus, <clears throat> and that's in the Ghost Bluegill. So this is a, you know, three to six feet suspending, nine sixteen ounce bait. And this one, I can actually open without cutting. <laughs> but this is another color that I really like, like those blue gills and those perches. So here's a little bigger size of a Berkeley jerk bait. So that's the Cutter 110 Plus. I showed you that guys before. But there you go. A little rattling. Another nice jerk bait, a little bigger than that. A little bigger than that Cutter 90. So there's your 110 and there's your 90. Two great colors. I think I would have, I think I was gonna get this in the perch too, but I don't know if I already have it or they just didn't have it in stock. So hopefully the stock is coming back on here as time's, time goes by. Uh, the rest of the things I got were soft plastic baits. Um, well, let's see, I'll show you the stick baits first, the Max Scent. So everybody, you know, Max Scent has become very popular. You know, it's like it's like gulp that won't dry out. Something I found on the web. Alexa. According to today. Shut down. I don't know why she's talking so much today. This has never happened before. But uh, there's like Berkeley Gulp that will not dry out. And I got four colors. I got the general four inch, and I'm not a big stick bait guy. But what I want to do is I want to throw this four inch almost, I want to throw it like a Ned. Um, because what's nice about this being four inches, if it starts to che get chewed up, I can, eventually I'm going to get it down to that traditional Ned size. So this is just, uh, this is a Beast Coast um, uh, Ned hook, a tungsten. So there's a preview of what my next video will be. <laughs> so I got some stuff from Beast Coast. But I'm just going to throw this general and... This is the Green Pumpkin Party, one of my favorite colors. And I'm just gonna throw that like a Ned next time I go fishing, just to give them the fish a little something different. So I'm just gonna throw it like that. And you can wacky rig it, however you like to throw a four inch general. Um, that's how I want to throw. I, 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 when I saw they had some of these in stock, the four inch size, I wanted to get some for Ned rigging. And what's nice about these is they have that great scent, that max scent, and uh, they won't dry out on you. Mm -hmm. uh, Alexa's making a lot of noises. I think I'm going to have to unplug her. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry about that. I don't know why Alexa was being so rude, <laughs> interrupting your fishing video today, but she has never done that before. So I don't know. We have had like these hellacious storms come through here today. The Wi-Fi, I was gonna do this earlier, the Wi-Fi wasn't working, my dish wasn't picking up the signal. We have all these you know, heavy downpours and after being 90 degrees this morning. So uh, I don't know if maybe she got a little messed up with the Wi-Fi going on and off, but that's the green pumpkin party, the one I just showed you. And I love this color, especially in clear water, but that's like one of my favorite colors in any bait that you guys know from watching my videos. Um, the other one I got is another one that I love, and that's that watermelon copper orange red. Um, I love this color in, in Berkeley baits. I love that orange, that watermelon with all that flake in there. This is one of my favorites. Like I said, I'm gonna throw these on a net. You need wacky work. Uh, wacky rig them. Uh, just throw them on a, just, you know, throw them like a fluke bait. However you like to throw them. But I'm going to try it on a net. Um, here's another one that's similar to that first one, and this is the Green Pumpkin Candy Red. Um, similar to that other one I showed you. It's 
got a little more red in it. That's another great clear watercolor. Great clear watercolor. That next scent, whew, man, that smells. Whatever, whatever that smell is and that flavor is, I don't know what it is, but the bass do like it. <laughs> they will hold on to it. Um, and the last one of the general and the foreign sales I got was just straight black, plain old black, which is a great color. In any, you know, dirty water, clear water, black produces. So there you go. So that's it. The four bags of the general I got, the four inch size, the small size they made. At least they made a three inch. Berkeley, if you want to make a three inch, do it. Three and a half, do it. <laughs> but there you go. Um, and the other bait I got was um, the green pumpkin watermelon uh, creature hog, which is a bait I like to. Uh, I really like to flip, and they had this color in stock. So I figured, let me grab, grab another one. Your typical flipping bait. That green pumpkin. You can see that that split. That green pumpkin. That watermelon. Great bait. Got that max scent stink. Whew. But there you go. So if you if you're flipping the weeds, you know, with a traditional beaver style bait, you're not getting a bite. Try that max scent one. Try that max scent one, because they will eat it. I can tell I have a cut on my finger, because mm. that stuff just got in there. Ouch. <laughs> there you go. So that's the max scent stuff I got from uh, Berkeley. And then I got some power bait. Got to get some power bait stuff. So. so let's see. Um, I did grab another bag of the craw fatty. And of course I had to get it in the watermelon candy color. You guys know, one of my favorite colors. And the craw fatty for me, um, I can go two ways with this bait. I can use it as a jig trailer, um, but when I do, I tend to cut this this like smooth section before you get to the ribs. I tend to cut that off and then um, put it on my jig because I find if I leave it full, it's a little too long. So I think this is this a four inch bait? Yeah. So to me, it's a little long with that four inch bait. So if I just cut that 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 smooth end off and just get to the first rib, and then. Uh, Put it on my jig it works better um, but i just like to flip this too i'll just take a four out hook three eighths ounce half ounce you know weight four out hook and we'll flip it in the weeds but i love this color you know and i saw they had it i saw i wanted to grab another one of these in this color because i love this color and i get i love that power bait smell and the last three baits i got are all it, it's the same bait and i got three different colors and it's the bunker hog which is like their version of a beaver style bait. And this one, of course, green pumpkin green. It's natural color. I think they're 10 pack, yeah. So, you know, 10 pack. And there's that green pumpkin with that green flake. It might have some black flake in there too. I hope you guys can see that. So you're, you know, your traditional beaver style bait with that great, you know, power bait uh, um, flavor to it. You know, if you want to make it more streamlined, you can always snip these off. But I just kind of leave it that way. I leave it the way it is. But there you go. That green pumpkin with that green flake in it. That's nice. Sometimes I might cut that little tip off just to get a little flatter there. But um, I don't always peg my, my weights when I'm flipping. So you can just leave it the way it is. But sometimes I'll, I'll do that so it's a little tighter onto the, onto the weight. Um, the other color I got was the black with red flake, one of my favorite flipping colors, especially in dirty water. So there's that that bunker hog in the black with that red flake, and I love that. That's one of my traditional favorite flipping colors, along with that watermelon red, that green pumpkin candy, um, the watermelon uh, candy. Those are, you know, some of my favorite flipping colors. You can use this as a jig trailer too, if you if you want to. I mean, I usually just flip these, but you could use it as a jig trailer. A lot of people like flipping, you know, beaver style baits or um, using them as jig trailers. Me, I just like to flip them. I like more of a cross style, a straight cross style bait for my trailers. And the last one I got is the California color. So if you guys have ever thrown that California color, that's like that, that watermelon with that black and that red. I'm not sure what other flake is in there. It might be some gold, but it's really a nice natural color, which I always like. So 
go. I have a nice flipping bait. So I have other some other packs from previous orders of these, and I haven't really used them that much. So this summer I'm gonna, uh, you know, when the flipping time comes, I'm gonna throw these a little more. I got them later in the season last year, and never got around to throwing them. So now I got three more colors that I didn't have. Um, so that's it, guys. Um, um, I just wanted to show you the pure fishing, the Berkeley order that came. Um, you know the power bait stuff. I love that cool thing. Look at that color. How oh, awesome is that? You know, some accent, and um, you know, like most companies, stock. It's been they've, they've had trouble. You know, it's been tough keep getting things in stock, keeping things in stock. Um, you know, the fishing industry has felt the COVID effect for a year and a half now with re with uh, you know supply and and other stuff. So, you know, when I see the things that I like, you know, getting back in stock, I'm gonna grab a few. So there you go. There's the generals, the four inchers. And then the hard baits. You can never go wrong with a few jerk, a uh, few um, Berkeley jerk baits. And uh, you guys who know my spring trip that I took to Lake Champlain, we were throwing a lot of perch and you know bait fish style colors. And I have a I'm sure in my brain that was what I was thinking. When I got these. So give me some more options when next spring rolls around. But you know, a lot of times I throw a jerk bait. I'm throwing a perch or a bluegill or. Some kind of a, a, a shad, a bait color, bait fish color. So that's it. So, uh, so that's the baits I got. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I'll I'll link um, everything I got in the description um, on the Pure Fishing page. Um, you can get it, you know, on the Pure Fishing page. You can order from, you know, you know, get them at your local tackle shop. Um, even Walmart's Walmart have Berkeley stuff. Um, most tackle shops that you'll go to, um, you know. You can buy them off the shelf if you if you don't order them online. But uh, in case you were wondering what these look like up close, there you go. There you go. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, <laughs> I mean, I kind of gave away the next video because I did make a Beast Coast video or a Beast Coast order that came. They had a 20% sale for Memorial Day. Thanks, guys, for having a sale. So I stocked up on a few things. I'll do a video on that uh, in the next couple days. I also have some video clips of some uh, some nice smallies I caught on Sagandaga. Um and for you guys who've ever fished Great Saga and Daga before, um, it's a you know, big lake, tons of smallies, but it's not, you're not going to catch four and five pounders, at least I never have, um, but you'll catch numbers, lots of numbers, lots of numbers. So, you know, a lot of 13, 14, you know, one and a half to two, two I think probably a two and a half might have been my biggest smallie, but it's a lot of those one and a half to two pounders, you, you know, catch one after another after another. And, um, you know, the first day I fished, it was pouring, so I didn't really film a lot. I didn't want my, my phone getting wet. Um, and, you know, it was a tougher day anyway, because I think a lot of the fish are on beds. And um, the day I was fishing, it was so cloudy and rainy and, and breezy that you really couldn't see them. I saw a few, but not a lot. But I still caught, you know, uh, eight or ten smallies that day. Uh, the next day um, was, like, sunny, not real windy. And I fished a different section of the lake, and there was beds, you know, everywhere, everywhere. Some I thought were on beds. Some I think were just around rock. The bed may have been there, and I just didn't know it was a bed. Um, but I probably caught 30 or 40 smallies. They're all in. <laughs> a bunch of red eyes, too. They were all over. But no largies. Um, you know, I'm always looking for largies there. They're, they're rare, um, at least for me. And um, didn't get any. Didn't get any. Even had a, I even had a jig ready for any time I saw a laydown or a nice dock that I could flip on. I said, maybe that's holding a largemouth. Maybe that's holding a largemouth. And then it's funny because I flipped the jig into... Flip a, you know, flip the jig into this nice brush pile, thinking I'm going to get a, a large mouth. I throw the jig in there, and it goes boom, and it's a small. <laughs> so, they're they, they're hanging out where the bass, like the where the uh, large mouths you think would hang out, but that's a smallie lake. Smallie in a walleye lake. You know, if you catch a if catch a, a large mouth there, you, you you consider yourself lucky. I think. Um, I didn't even catch any walleye, but um, it was fun. Caught a lot that that second day in a, in a nice sunny hot day. I'm going to go back there in a couple weeks for my mom's 80th birthday, so I'm going to get some more fishing out there. So I'll put those clips together and make a video up with that and kind of show you guys what I was doing um, for that. So look for that later in the week over the weekend and the Beast, the Beast Coast uh, video. I'll put that together soon, too. Okay, so I um, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, any questions on the Berkeley stuff, let me know. I've been a part of the, the Select Angler Pure Fishing um, team for a long time. 
Um, I have a ton of Berkeley stuff over the years, and Abu Garcia, and Fluger, and and uh, Fenwick, and and Sabi I don't know if Sabil's still part of the crew, but um, all that stuff. I I've been part of that for since I bought my first Skeeter, and that was like 17 years ago. So I've been part of that for a long time. So uh, I like to make an order every now and then, and stock up on some of the new stuff, and and stock up on some of the stuff that I like that I, I'm getting low on. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, any questions on the Berkeley stuff, just let me know. I'll put all the links to everything I got. And, um, and that's it. So I'll see you guys soon on YouTube. Mark out.